hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to add this logos showcase section to your blogger website in the previous video i showed you how to design this using html css and javascript and in this video i'll show you how to add this to your blogger website i will also leave the link of the source code in the description of this video so you can just copy and paste the code to your websites so let's get started <laughs> Right, so here I have logged into my blogger dashboard and uh, let's go ahead and add this uh, design over here inside a post. Now you can also add this to your page so you can just go over here to pages and uh, go to the page you want this uh, design to be added and uh, just add the code over here. But I'll just go over here to post and I'll just add it over here. I'll just add it to this first post over here called how to make your life easy with chat GPT. So let's open this. And the first thing you need to do is uh, go to the HTML view. So by default, it will be in the compose view like this. But you have to go into the HTML view. And here to, first of all, specify where you want to add this design. So here we can see that this is the HTML code of our post. So these are all different paragraphs. We have this P tag over here. So I'll just add it after the first paragraph. So after this uh, BR tag, which is uh, a line break, let's go ahead and add our code. So I'll just go ahead and uh, add our HTML code over here. So let's go to our source code and uh, I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's go to the index.html file. Now let's copy this uh, division with the class of mark your container and uh, let's copy it till uh, the end of this division. And let's paste it over here inside our post. And then we need to add the CSS. So let's go to the style CSS file and uh, let's copy all the CSS from uh, this line of code till the end and let's go ahead and paste it over here so i'll just add a style tag at the top so here i'll just create a style tag and uh, in this we will add our css code so here i have added all the css code and then we also need to add some javascript so here we have this javascript inside the main.js file so let's copy all this javascript from here and uh, let's go to the end of our post and here I'll just create a script tag and uh, in this we will paste the JavaScript code. Alright now the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to add these images. Right now it is set to images forward slash the image name but we don't have this image inside our blogger website. It is inside our local project. So we need to upload the images inside our post. So let's go ahead and add the images right here. And we'll just get the URL of the image and paste it over here. So you can just click on this button called uh, insert image and uh, you can go ahead and click on upload from computer. Now here you can go ahead and uh, drag and drop your images or you can just browse to the location of your images and select them. Now here we can see that all the images of our design are displayed. So let's select all of these and uh, let's drag and drop them over here. And here we can see that all the images are being uploaded. And for the size, let's select original size and let's click on OK. And here we can see all the images are uploaded. Now we need to get the links of these images and add it to our design. So here we can see we have this href attribute and in that we have the link of the image. So let's copy this link and this is for Facebook logo. So let's copy this from here and let's add it over here for Facebook. And the same way we need to do it for the other images. So we have LinkedIn and uh, let's copy the link of LinkedIn from here. So here we can see this is the link of LinkedIn. So let's copy this link from here and let's paste it over here in the source. And this way we need to go ahead and add the links of all these images. So I'll just go ahead and fast forward this process. All right, so I have added the links of all the images. Now let's go ahead and delete these uh, images from here. We already have the link so let's delete all of this code and uh, now let's go ahead and click on update and let's see how it looks let's open this uh, page let's go back over here and uh, let's click on view now here we can see we have the logos showcase container displayed over here but we don't have the images being displayed so let's right click over here and go to inspect and let's see what's the problem so we have this uh, logo slide in that we have logo wrapper we have the image but we can see that the size of the image is not correct we don't have the width set correctly right now if you take a look at the img tag we can see that the image width is set to zero and uh, 
for that we need to go back to our post and we need to add some width so the main problem is that the image max width is set to something in the theme by default so if you scroll down over here here if we go to post body image let's select the image and if we scroll down here we can see that for the post body image we have a max width of 100% set by the theme so we need to override this max width and we need to add some value to that so for that let's go back over here and uh, let's go to logo wrapper img and uh, let's set a max width i'll just set it to let's try 200 pixels and let's see how it looks let's go ahead and click on update let's go back to our post and reload and now we can see that the logos are being displayed and if you hover over this the movement stops and everything is working all right let's also take a look at the mobile version and uh, the mobile version also looks all right so that's basically how you can add this logo showcase design to your blogger website all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day